Hello, hello, what's up? It's your boy Morsi. I'm over here with another little quick tip. I just had to do this one because I'm tired of seeing it. All my friends that I see mixing or I see these tutorials of people doing the bypass using the on off button that Logic provides you right here and on the sides. When you are playing tracks, you probably notice a glitch happening, a little second of delay throws you off. Let's uh, just go right into it. I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. Very annoying, I know. But did you know, and a lot of people don't notice this, FabFilter Pro Q3 or all the Fab, FabFilter plugins, they have this little button on the bottom. That is your bypass button. It's right on the bottom right corner and it turns on red when it's bypassed. Hear the difference. Ah, no glitch. Simple as that. Same applies to another common plugin people like to use. Um, for this instance, I'm using Ozone 11. I just threw on the dynamic EQ. Check this out. Same. You know. Very annoying. Right here, there's a bypass button. Big ass letters. Bypass. Now, isn't that much better? Please, y'all, use your bypass buttons because what's happening is when you're trying to mix, and you're hearing this delay and glitch, it's, you know, it's throwing your ears off because you have this little second of, you're just trying to hear pure, smooth transitions between on and off bypassing. And if you have that glitch going on, you're not gonna get a, a clean, accurate description of what you're trying to do. So I know it's very convenient, these big blue buttons and the side buttons on and off, but I highly recommend uh, using the bypass button just specifically on like something like a uh, pro Q3. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Until next time, please y'all check out more uh, on my YouTube and wherever I post under Morsi Music. I'm trying to help y'all out. Hopefully this was a helpful tip. Until next time, peace.